guys. Um, today I'm making a, ja a tutorial on how to fix a, a Java error. Um, if, if you get an error, um, it should look something like this. I just, I'm gonna just go over that quickly. Yeah, that error. System can't cannot find path specified. It's a pretty simple error to fix, but quite a lot of people have it and they don't know how to fix it. So I'm gonna try and make this tutorial noob friendly. So like if you're completely new computers and all that. Um so it's really easy. Um so what you gotta do is first of all go on my computer, click on local disk, then it's program files and program files eighty six. So click on whatever because they both have Java file in it, but I'm gonna go on eighty six um, and click on the file Java. Then it should sing something there called JRE and JDK. So JDK is if you want to like host your own server and like create it and do everything like that. So if, if it's your own private server, then JRE is if you're trying to run someone else's server. So if you've got download someone's uh, web client or something like. Uh, download, downloadable client and you want to run it and you can't so then you need to go and use that but this is for if you're well the first part is for if you're hosting your own so it's all going to be the same video but so click on JDK this is for if you're making your own server click on bin then click there click copy then when you've done that go on my computer again click on system properties advanced system settings environment variables then over here right new class then path I mean, wait, um, no, okay. right class then paste what you just wrote I mean, what you just copied into there click ok right new right path paste that paste it again and same thing put it in there then do it in the second box down here so right class then do that then path okay so there you go so now we're all in there click ok um, click x of that then go over here then go on compiler or run server just then so right click click on compiler right click click edit then from bin you highlight all of that from bin to C, so all of that, then paste in uh, what you've been copying, put it into there, click save, click X, then click compile, and then the error's gone. So now you fixed the error, now it should be working. Let's wait for us to finish compiling. There you go, there you go, and you do it the same for run server or whatever, but this thing up the client I'm using doesn't have it so like if it has this then you don't need to change anything just leave it as that so um so that's if so that's for if you're creating your own web client and you want to create your own yeah so now i'll be doing it for if you want to run someone else's web client so you do the same thing go on computer local disk c any of the program files whatever one doesn't matter and click on java click on jre this time instead of jdk so click on jre Go on bin, click there, click copy, then go to computer, system properties, advanced system settings, environment variables, then do the same as I did before, except it will be with the JRE uh, stuff. So that's JRE instead of JDK. So you do the exact same thing, except with JRE. So as I'm doing it here, so, um, there you go. Doing the exact same thing except with JRE. So, this sort of lets you use someone else's, so run someone else's client. Because JDK is a tool that helps you, like a, um, a program tool. So, it helps you run your, so it's for designing your own things. And using your own. So, if you're doing JRE to run someone else's, you won't need to do anything with compiler because that's like the host's uh, problem. And you just click on run, and you do the same thing except with only run server. So, then use 
like um so wait, I'll demonstrate a compiler. So you just go from the bin to sit uh up the C, then you just paste it into there. But you don't need to because that's a compiler. If you do it on one server, it's just my run server doesn't have it, so yeah. When we've done that, you just click one server, then it should work. So remember you do it up you copy from bin to C then click say then you have to save it. And so it's working. I just want to wait for it to load. You shouldn't need to see that because it is working. Um yeah, that's about it. Pretty simple. If you have any questions, uh message me or comment on the video. Uh yeah, uh please give this video a thumbs up. Uh subscribe if you want to, I don't really mind. Um yeah, okay. Thanks. Bye.